what's going on guys welcome back so today okay i told you guys i was gonna do this so gonna react to up church live stream addressing um screw battle whatever <laughs> it's a live stream that he did seems like he's in his car talking so let's just hear what up church has to say man um a lot of people is is they they really um mess with what he was saying so Let's go check it out. Let's not waste any time because this is a long video. So let's do this. Maybe it's on the It's gonna be a long <coughs> one. Alright, leave me my train. Chill while I get the bone barrel, put the bone barrel. Get it done, get it going there. <clears throat> hey man, what the hell are y'all doing? I'm gonna wait till <clears throat> everybody gets in here and I'm gonna talk about some shit. <clears throat> Just wanna make sure everybody gets a chance to get in here before I start talking. <clears throat> Oh, hickory full of foul. First off, uh, I just want to throw this out there. Uh, Yellow Wolf, that new song you came out with, is fucking badass. If y'all haven't checked out Opie Taylor by Yellow Wolf, that shit's tough. I like it. Um, listen, man. I just want to say this. Screw Face Gene. Yes, I'm saying your name. Screw Face Gene. I'm saying blue face gene or whatever. Listen, bro. There's a line between looking. <laughs> there's a there's a really thick line, honestly, between looking like shit and looking like a good sport. And I don't know why you're so far on one side, homie. Listen. Right now, this is artist to artist, bro. This ain't no fucking white guy to black guy, redneck to hood guy, or anything like that. This That's all stupid as fuck. Listen. <clears throat> we, uh, we as artists and entertainers, bro, it is our job to show these people and tell these people that watch our stuff. Because, listen, bro, you got to keep in mind, these aren't just people our age. These are people older than us that are wiser than us. And these are people that are younger than us that aren't as wise as us. Okay? So, <laughs> now listen, I didn't, I didn't know that <laughs> the battle was going to be like this. I'm going to be completely honest. I, I don't think you're a bad rapper. I really don't. I think you have a badass attitude, bro. You're not a bad... Sorry, guys. But really and truly, nobody does. If there's people... If there's people in the Creek Squad that say that Screw is a bad rapper, which I don't think anybody is saying that, um... They're wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying they're wrong. Screw is not a bad rapper. It's just his his energy and what he was talking about was it was off. So, he's not a bad rapper, and I'm glad that he said that. Bring that back a little bit. Yes, I'm gonna be completely honest. I I don't think you're a bad rapper. I really don't. I think you have a badass attitude, bro. You're not a bad rapper. You just have a bad fucking attitude, man. It's a little bit. And you know, that's not that's not a good way to portray yourself to the younger ones, and it's not a good way to portray yourself as to the older ones. I mean, dog. Like, yes, we're here's what here's what you gotta understand. 
We're literally fighting, and I said literally, we're literally fighting with letters and words. Okay? True. Letters and words. Bro, your brother is online right now telling people F their grandma, F their mama, F their this, F their that. Why? F this white boy, F this, this. Bro, I I have black and white fans. You have black and white fans. Me saying the shit that I said to you was not me taking up for any race in particular, homie. I'm taking up for people. I'm taking up for the white people you're talking shit about, and I'm taking up for the black people you're talking shit about. These are people, dude. These are motherfuckers that pull over and help you change your tire. These are motherfuckers (laughs) that sell you stuff at the gas station. These are people who deliver your motherfucking pizza. These are people who do shit for you. You see, you see the difference the difference on his outlook he's basically telling you the type of person he is by how he's talking uh, talking right now because most artists they don't care about the pizza guy they don't care about the guy who probably helped them pump their gas at the gas station they don't care about that guy most of them don't you get what I'm saying you get me so they don't even look at them. They don't even look at them too hard. You know what I'm saying? And they don't understand that those are the same people. Those are the same people that are supporting you. You know what I'm saying? That are supporting you. I'm telling you, I've had experiences in the past with celebrities, if you want to call it that. Celebrities, including artists, everybody. Celebrities. You're famous. People know you. Regardless of what brought you to this fame, movies i've met movie stars i've met artists as in you know songs um musical artists i should say i've met even artists artists you know the ones that paint i've met people celebrities i've met celebrities man and not all of them are cool (laughs) i'm gonna be honest with you it's very true when people say never, don't meet your idols, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they more than likely will disappoint you. Just remember that these are people that, and a lot of times, you know, they'll say, oh, these people are under pressure basically 24 sevens and, you know, they just want to rest. I'm like, dude, if you don't want to sign autograph, stay the hell home. <laughs> That's that's all I have to say. A lot of times, the thing about it is that I don't like to see people accost people. Like, I'm not the type of guy that is going to see a celebrity and be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, and go start, you know what I'm saying, start crazy. I'm I'm not a person that gets starstruck. Yes, they're, they're a person, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy, I'll, I'll smile, but I'm not the oh my God, go crazy, ah! kind of person i've seen guys do that i've seen girls do that so it's not specific to any gender okay i've seen guys that are starstruck it's like like there's certain people that i think that i would meet and would really just love to pick their brain like i'm the type of person like i'm from i was like probably like 12 years old i've always wanted to meet bill gates wanted to meet that guy and i just really wanted to have just have a conversation with him because when I was back home and I heard that this guy was making this amount of money. I wanted to know how the hell did he do it until this day. I still want to meet him. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I still want to meet him. It's still a goal that I have on my vision board is to meet Bill Gates. Um, and I just want to have a conversation with him. You know, maybe when I was a kid, if I had met him when I was a kid, I probably would have do the whole starstruck thing. But I think at this point in my life, and this has been going on for years now. We had to understand that these are just people. They're just doing their job to entertain us, which is what Upchurch is trying to tell him. It's like our job is to, to entertain these people. You know what I'm saying? And to, and to, you know, take race out of it. Take Forget about that stuff. 
we're doing this to entertain, not to destroy each other to the point where, you know what I'm saying, we're not doing our job. That's what he's saying. I know you might not think, you might say, oh, well, I mean, you know, what do they really do for me? Motherfucker, we all exist in this world to fucking help each other in some way or fashion. Now, listen, I know there's going to be people out there that fucking troll and shit. I'm a troll. But <laughs> there's a difference damn right between you are. <laughs> being a troll for entertainment and being a troll because you absolutely fucking hate somebody. Mm, true. <laughs> See what I'm saying? There's Bro, a I got your brother so goddamn mad last night by calling him witch granny, bro. Witch granny. Your big ass, muscly <laughs> ass, motherfucking meathead brother. Gotten all in his feelings is over, on the over internet a couple words, saying, right? F your grandma, F your mama, F this. Because I called him witch granny, bro. Do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? <laughs> Oh I took God. two words that are separate as fuck and mean separate things, and I put them together, and I put "ol" in the beginning, and called him "old witch granny," and that dude, he went fucking berserk. You, you, you. We're gonna get on topic of you now. Bro, you're a good rapper. Again. You're not a good battle rapper, bro. <laughs> you're good at making songs. I've listened to your songs. They're good. You're As I said, that, like, this is Suck the first. Fucking... This is the first. The last one he did, The Nail, was the first time it seems like he brought, brought out the battle bars. Cause it's it's true what Upchurch is saying. He's not a good battle rapper. Like, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. He doesn't. The in he, he, I don't know if he, he his bars just doesn't hit. What he thinks is an insult. It's kind of like anybody could shrug that off. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain things that happen in diss songs. Like when you listen to Eminem diss somebody, there's not there's not something you can. You can just shrug off. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, it's either you gonna take the L, or you gotta respond. You know. Camel nuts, bro. Camel nuts. I'm not. And listen, I'm not saying this being like, oh, I'm the bestest there ever was, bro. I'm not the best there ever was. I'm not gonna be the best there ever was. But you know what I'm gonna be. The only motherfucking up church, the only fucking redneck motherfucker from the middle of Tennessee that can throw words at you like a motherfucking gallon gun. That, that's me. That, I mean, you can't say it ain't. But I'm not the best rapper in the world, fool. I, my catalog, I listen to all kind of rappers, dog. I'm the same age as you, fool. How are you going to tell me and all these other people we don't know hip-hop? I live in Tennessee, motherfucker. Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. Do you know what's next door to me? Memphis, Tennessee. And Atlanta. Do you know what's on the other, the other next Georgia, door to me? Georgia, yeah. Atlanta fucking Georgia, <laughs> exactly. fool. Exactly. <laughs> Young Jeezy, the Dirty South, Gucci Man, <laughs> Yo Gotti, Talk to him, Church, <laughs> Yellow Wolf, Young Buck. I mean, dude, come on, fool. I'm not saying this to get under your skin. Anybody out there? I mean, even listen, that neuro that neuroscientist dude who does the YouTube videos. Go get him. Ooh, Tell him to. <laughs> Evaluate this video. I'm not doing this about under your skin. Nice. I'm not doing this for any reason. I, I'm Is doing it for the fact that, that you really need to hear this. I, so. I mean, to be honest, the only reason I'm getting on here and saying this shit is because... <laughs> I mean, you're not going to believe it, but I actually give a fuck about your career. 
even though right now it seems like you don't give a fuck about your career. As an artist and a Max. love for writing songs for all the people out here in the world that listen to our stuff and they listen to it for advice. They listen to it for, you know, to change their mood. Bro, they don't want to see you doing this. Yeah. And listen, I know you're going to want to, but you can't say that I'm doing the same shit. Because I'm not. I'm replying to you picking at me, bro. What? And, and I know what your other argument's going to be. Well, I just don't understand what you're doing because... Because, I mean, you're, like, you're way bigger. Why are you coming down here? Bro. Let me hear what you're going to say to this. I mean, it's not like the early 2000s no more, fool. The bottom has gotten way fucking bigger. It used to... It used to be smaller... And it used to be easier to get noticed now, uh, easier to get noticed, but it's not like that no more. You're sitting here telling me, oh, well, you at the top, why are you fucking with me? Bro, because I'm at the bottom. And if you talk shit about me, I'm going to beat your ass with motherfucking words. Because I'm a rapper. I'm not going to get mad at it. Dude, No Life Shack gave you the first round. Am I gonna get mad as fuck? He did. And be like, oh, I don't f with him anymore. I don't f with No Life Shack. No fool. No, nah, it's man. his YouTube what? channel. Church, church. Nah, man. It wasn't the first round. He gave Screw the second round. I think. <laughs> well, you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that it was the second round at No Life Shack because I went to see watch his reactions, and I'm pretty sure it was the second one. He gave screw. He gave screw the second round. You guys let me know if he gave him the first round. Because I don't remember him saying the first round. Yeah, you know I'm saying? I don't know. I could be wrong. That man could get on there and say whatever the fuck he wants. But he's doing it the right way. He's an unbiased reaction channel. Yep. And even though I don't have to. I decided to get on there and make a comment on Shaq's thread and be like, yo, everybody who's a part of my team, don't be talking shit to No Life Shaq because he gave Screw the first round because Shaq is still the homie. Right. Do you know why Shaq's the homie? Because I can tell that he's a good fucking dude, bro. I can tell that that man wakes up every fucking day and looks for the brighter side of the whole daylight and goes on about his day and does his thing for his subscribers and gets off. Now rewind. Look at your friends, bro. Look at Mumfu. Look <laughs> at fucking Hit Brainiac. Look at your brother, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> That's not a reaction channel. They're trying to play it off as, oh, this is the reaction channel. No, it's not a reaction channel. Yeah. It's three dudes getting fucking mad because their friend got beat. Bro, it uh, that's, that's true. It, I mean, you're spitting facts right now. You're spitting facts right now. But, um, what am I saying? But, <laughs> I have to say, I meant to say, like, um, when I started this, when I started this YouTube channel, like, I wanted to create an environment where anybody is welcome, which is still the case. I'm not saying that is in the past, <laughs> you know, that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I did. I try to be objective as possible because, you know, to have an unbiased opinion about something. So if, if so many people I, you know they recommend something on my channel it's it just so happens that nothing is really missed on the channel yet as in everything that my subscribers has suggested to me to react like i absolutely love you know um beef's different this is the first like time i'm doing like diss tracks on the channel i think i did kill shot back um last year I think that was the only other diss song that's, that was um, reacted to. I don't even know if that video is still up 
and running to be honest i i don't know i haven't checked to see if it's doing well or nothing because i think it could be because a lot of those songs that i did off the kamikaze album they got blocked after a while or claimed or whatever i i don't know you know because i think like back in like the summertime i think one of them got claimed i think it was the um the joiner lucas um the the Eminem featuring Jordan Lucas joined um what's the name of that song again I don't remember I don't remember the name of the song but you guys know which one I'm talking about after Kamikaze album but that I think that one got claimed after a while um and back then I wasn't even doing like you know all out reactions to put on YouTube I was doing crazy stuff to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying just to you know avoid the, it getting blocked when I upload it, so it's not even full, you know, but that's what I'm saying, man, you, as a, as a reactor, you have to be bot, you have to be unbiased, okay, you have to be unbiased, because, you know what I'm saying, yeah, you might like some people over some people, but you still gotta react to them and give your honest opinion, you know, and, I, and I've been giving my honest opinion about this beef, because, I just see because I'm coming from the SFJ nation and I told you guys off bat why I unsubscribe to screw and yeah, it may be based on my opinion and maybe it may look like I'm biased towards up church, you know, but the thing about it is that, as I said, man, talent is undeniable talent plus hard work. That's what makes you a superstar. You get what I'm saying? So, you can't deny somebody's talent. You can't deny their hard work. And I'm not saying that Screw doesn't work hard. I'm just saying he's an inconsistent guy when it comes on to who he is. And also, it reflects back to his music. So, it's like, I don't like to be around that kind of energy. Because you can be putting out a certain kind of energy in, in your videos and then not, you're you know, you're hearing all of this stuff about him and people are showing receipts and stuff and stuff that is happening between them. And there's a bunch of exposed videos about Screw, a bunch of them. So it's, you know, people talking, people saying he's ducking them and all of this other stuff. So dude, people got, they got the receipts, man. And they, they showing you up and I don't like to be around that kind of energy. I just don't. And then when people, I'm, I'm, um, did, did something happen that really made me push the unsubscribe button from Screw? You know what I'm saying? Something. He came on a video and he was talking about Dax again. And I was like, I'm saying to myself, why am I subscribed to this channel if he's not? If, I mean, Dax has moved on. But he just keeps riding the hell out of this dead horse. You know what I'm saying? It just got to the point where everybody was saying, dude, hang it up, man. At this point, you're just being petty. Like, we get it. You don't like the dude. He did you wrong. You know what I'm saying? And then I heard he did some... I, I mean... <sighs> It's, it's just really sad if he keeps going down this road. I'm glad that Upchurch decided to do a live stream like this, you know, just for the, for the, for the, um, <laughs> just for the sake of just educating him man to man. Let's break it down man to man. Let's, let's have a conversation now. Cause now that we got everything we need off our chest, right? About each other in these diss tracks. Now I'm going to talk to you man to man artist to artist right because i think i think upchurch was realizing that maybe this battle is getting it's getting um out of pocket you get what i'm saying it's getting to to the point where it might get to the point where it's going to get way too personal and i think that's what he recognizes is happening and that's why he decided to do this and just talk to him you get what I'm saying? Because, he, th he, you know, I mean, if his, bro his brother is online saying F this and F that, F your grandma, F, F your mama and all of this other stuff, 
is out of pocket. Because first of all, yeah, that's your family, but it doesn't really concern you for you to go online. You know what I'm saying? You chose to go and react to the smash, right? The smash, right? You chose to go and react to that and, and, and put yourself out there. You decided to do that. And what is with you choke slamming some white dude? Like I saw that and I'm like, what? And then what did that white dude say? <laughs> what <did laughs> I, I'm starting to remember the, the video because I was like, what did that white guy say again? Something about um don't mess with daddy or something like that. That was I don't know what that beginning of that video was about. I didn't get the reference. I didn't know why. Was that a skit? I don't know what it was. <laughs> if if I got beat in a rap battle and all my supporters started doing that, I would get on there and be like, yo, y'all chill. It's cool, bro. It's, it's straight. Just, I mean, I lost. If I lost, I would say I lost. But the thing is, I'm not even going to be out here actually trying to convince people I won. The majority rules, screw. We cannot tell these fucking people, we can't tell the majority that they're wrong. Exactly. There was plenty of people <laughs> that did so reactions that people. said you won. And I sat there and watched the whole thing and I even commented on it and said, hey, love the reaction, bro. Thanks a lot. Pray in hands. 100 symbol. That's what you he, do. Sure, when you get beat he's up. He's a real one, bro. When you get in a fight with some homies, are you, are you going to keep fucking beating your homies up every day? No, you're not. Do I want to keep beating you up every day? No, I don't. What I'm telling you right now, bro, as long as y'all's group keeps wanting to talk shit about people's families keeps wanting to be racist as fuck because let me tell you something like I said before I'm not just trying to shut down this racist shit for white people I'm trying to shut down your racist ass shit for my black fans and my white fans because I don't think I don't think you're I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be straight up I do not think you're setting a good example for young black kids bro that's your gist right I don't think you're doing a good job. Damn. And me as a white dude, it's my responsibility to set a good example for white and black kids, dude. Straight up. We all have that These white kids and these black kids that watch our shit, bro, they learn from shit. Yeah. If they see me being a fucking douche to, to people because they're black, what the fuck does that say to the young black kids coming up? No, dude. I would rather I would rather talk to these these young black kids and be like, hey, hey, bro, uh, you know, all redneck motherfuckers are not the same. I, I I grew up 16, 17 years old slapping young Jeezy out of a fucking Memphis ten. You know what I'm saying? They don't know that kind of shit because you know why? Because they got people like you making the videos you do. You're looking like a fucking crazy person right now. You're looking like, you're looking like a victim quote. I know that sounds funny, but you're looking exactly what you, you had everybody hashtagging, bro. Victim quote. Like, what the fuck, dude? And I just, I think you're, I think you are disrespecting your fans and it just all the way around. I seriously do. I feel like you're just, you're shitting on them. And you're being a not a good person for him. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you gotta love tap me and be like, oh, well, you know, it's ba no, 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 no. It's battle rap. You can you can say whatever the fuck you want in battle rap. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, fighting with words and being actually mentally unstable and angry is two separate fucking things. I mean, they're words. And if we keep getting all pissed off about words, uh, that's, it's not going to create a great future for the people that are following you. 
they're going to end up being hateful, bigoted motherfuckers. Your white fans and your black fans. I mean, it's just people. It's a people thing. It's not a color thing. And that's what I'm trying to get through to you as a fucking artist. Now, listen, bro. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not the best. Did I get the best of you? Yes. Obviously. I mean, look what you're fucking acting like. Look what your family members are acting like online. I'm just simply making this live to give you some advice. Now, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Regardless, if you make another rap song or not, it's really not going to matter in your in, in, in your position right now. So what I would do is, I mean, you could do whatever you want. That, uh, Like I said, it's just fighting with words. If I was you, uh, let me put it this way. If, if I was in your position and it was my brothers and my producer acting like an ass, I would smack the piss out of my producer. I would whack my brother upside the head. And I'd be like, what in the fuck are y'all doing on the internet right now? That's what I would do, screw. You know why you don't see my brother online talking shit? Because he's 23 years old, and the dude is a more of a gentleman, a southern gentleman, than most 40-year-olds I know. Do you know why he's like that? Because he had good examples set for him. My producer. Do you see my producer online being like, oh, man, oh, you know, this don't make sense. Da -da 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 -da. No. Because you know what my producer's doing? He's sitting down with his wife and his kids, probably watching Netflix, doing what he's supposed to do as a producer. If your producer's online bitching and crying about another rapper, what the fuck does that say about your producer, bro? Your producer is online bitching about a rap battle you lost. Do you know how shitty that looks for other motherfuckers coming up wanting to be producers? Do you know what my producer does on his day-to-day -day basis? He answers DMs from other people who want to be producers and get into music, and he gives them tips, and he tells them what kind of equipment they need. Wow. And shit like that. Damn. Do you see me shitting on everybody, screw do you see me just fucking picking fights with all these upcoming rappers and shit? No. You don't see that. And you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see me hit up nobody and be like, Hey, dude, you wanna get into a fake rap beef and just do white battles against each other? No. You don't see me doing that. You know why? Because all these artists shouldn't be fucking... <laughs> shouldn't be out here trying to create fake beefs to... No, dude. You make music. You make fucking music about fucking life. That's what you do. Now, if the beef comes your way, you handle that shit. You came my way, the smash. What more can I say? But for you to keep picking at it and picking at it, you're only fucking yourself, bro. You are fucking yourself. People are leaving your page because they're sick of seeing somebody that they look up to cry like a fucking sissy about his occupation and his work that he chose to show everyone. I don't fucking hate you, dude. I hate the way you act. And I don't hate the way you act just because you're acting that way. I hate the way you fucking act because it sets a shitty ass example. Now look, let's go. We're gonna take Eminem for example, and this is for no reason. I'm just I'm I'm just picking him because everyone knows who the fuck he is. When do you ever see Eminem online doing this shit? You don't. Oh well, he's so big. He this out there. Nah, nah, nah. Shut up. Go back to his his original shit when he was younger. That fool didn't go after nobody unless came they came him. at him first. Yep. 
It's true. He did not pick a fight with not one single fucking person unless they came for him first. Didn't anybody, like, ever growing up ever tell you never go pick fights but finish them? Yes. Because that's what I was told my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell? You probably can. And that's the only thing I wanted to tell you, bro. Because I've had a lot of your fans come over and subscribe to my page. And for anybody who came from Screw's page, and I mean, my, my people already know this. All my skins already know this. Anybody who came over from my page from Screw's, if you're mad at Screw and you're expecting to see me trash him all the time, that's that's not what you're going to see. You're going to see a man working. Would never you're going to see that, like. me doing everything I'm supposed to do. And I came for the work ethic, man. That's what I want to support. I'm, I gravitate towards stuff like that because the first song that I reacted to, to Upchurch, yeah, I mean, y'all just came through like, yo, you're going to love this dude. Um, keep listening. You know what I'm saying? Like, fans are loyal, man. The fans are loyal, fans are loyal and they're welcoming. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, take this from a guy who has tried to, to, to get into groups. And, you know what I'm saying? There's a certain toxicity that comes with that with that particular group. And I had to leave. You know what I'm saying? So, for the fans to be this gung-ho to get to welcome in other people to come in. You know what I'm saying? If it was just about color of skin, I don't think... You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure that, you know, that more white people follow up church than black people. But at the same time, that's just me just kind of generalizing the situation. Um, just based on the type of music that he does. You know, you have a lot of black people that would, they don't listen to anything but hip hop. But because he's so multi, um, he spread across mo uh, multiple genres you know, more than likely has more white fans than black fans because this is how it is. This is how the cookie crumbled for him, really, because you don't have a lot of black people that listen to country and rock. You know, it just don't. It, I mean, yes, you do have some, but it's just not, it's, it, the, the, the amount is, you know, m maybe like three, four times more when it comes on to if you're going to compare it. So, I, I, um, I understand what he's saying in this video, man. You know, just just letting y'all know that he, he's doing it for his fans. Which which I think that's how it should have stayed. You know? I, mean, I mean, that's what you're going to see. You're going to get to see what an artist does day in and day out. And you're, you're going to see me in the studio. And you're going to see me all these other fucking places. Because... That's what I want to show you guys. I'm You're here not going to see no bullshit bars, here all the time. Church. And me talking shit about Screw all the time. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't, I don't hate Screw. Rock and roll too, I'm you know, very, 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 very mean and shit in my, in my diss tracks because you have to be. I, I'm, I'm not giving anybody a choice to just come over here and whoop my ass. It's, it, it's, 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 that's not going to happen. But I'm also not picking no goddamn fights. So, for everybody that came from, I, I've, uh, since this happened, I've gained a hundred thousand subscribers on uh, on YouTube, and I know uh, some of y'all came from there, some of y'all didn't. But uh, I just want to say I am grateful for uh, y'all coming to my page and following me. Um, if you ever said anything bad about me before because of Screw, that's cool, whatever. I forgive you. I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. It's the internet. No one cares. Um, but as far as the people who follow me for my stuff and, you know, the people who are here for, hell, I mean, personal reasons for music, for, you know, for funny videos, whatever, I appreciate you, um, that's really all I gotta say, I mean, I just wanna come here and thank everybody and just screw, bro, you, you gotta stop, you gotta quit, dude, it's, it just, it, it just 
just looks like some sissy shit now, bro. I mean, straight up. You talk shit about me. I punched you in the face with cargo face, or cargo head. You came back. I said what I need to say. It's been like two days. You ain't said shit. It's cool. I mean, if you put it out now, you're already too late. I mean, everybody already, I mean, this, it is what it is. You can do what you want. I just wanted to come here as an artist, a bigger artist than you, and just give you some fucking advice, dude. That's all I really care about. Skins, I'm on vacation. I'm heading to vacation. Love you fuckers. Um, I'm getting off here and I'm going to keep on driving the fucking vacation, fucking. Y'all take it easy. Y'all have a good rest of y'all's weekend. Um, yeah. Creek squad out, fucking. So, there you go, and a bunch of reactors popping up. Yeah, so, I think I said all I had to say. Um, I don't know if I would want Upchurch to respond to him again. Like, at this point, it should, it should end, you know what I'm saying, the beef. I think it should end now that he's, you know, put out a video like this. I think it should, he, I don't think he should respond. But if he does, of course, you know, we're going to be right back here again responding to it. But I think if he does do another diss track, that, like, he should be as real as possible on that track. And, you know, just talk to him, but with bars. You know what I'm saying? The same thing he was basically doing in this video. Just talk to him. You get what I'm saying? And... You know, I really do, like, for him to put out a video like this was something, as I said, there's a lot of stuff that people don't have to do, but they, they do it out of respect, not just for the fans, but out of respect for the person you, you are going up against. So, I definitely see, um, see things kind of fizzling out from here, now that he's put out that live stream and stuff like that, so, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, man. Respect to Upchurch. And as I said, man, respect to, to Screw. I think at this point, you know, this beef need to fizzle out. And let's, and let's you know, move on. Let's make great music, man. Um, so, the thing about it is, is that, you know, if, he, if he's not on that bullshit, I don't have a problem going back and subscribing to him. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem going back and subscribe to him. It's just, if he's still on the same bull, you know what I'm saying? Still talking about Dax and, you know what I'm saying? And all this other stuff, not making good tracks and stuff like that. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? If he's not doing that, if he's not improving and stuff like that, like, his fans need to be telling him that. Because at the end of the day, man, even if people are paying you, if people are paying you to see you live, right, and then you're not delivering, you know what I'm saying? Then you're not delivering. It makes you look bad, and you'll never blow up. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I know they're probably putting in, you know, putting in their, their own money into into their tours and stuff like that, um, and money that, you know, they're, you know, being supported by their, um, by their fans. And that's cool, man. That's great. You know, I'm always going to root for the independent artists because I know it's harder for them to get to a certain, to get to that level. I know that for sure. That it's harder for independent artists to get that. Um, it's, it's a bit easier today than, say, probably, I want to say probably 10 years ago. It's way easier because they have so many different platforms to get your music out on that it does you get what i'm saying to get recognition to gain fans you know what i'm saying loyal fans to that so um before you know you had to hear songs on the radio to really know who some artists are any artist trying to go independent had it tough because they had no backing nobody really knows about you because there's no youtube 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying specifically 10 years ago, but remember those days when you didn't have YouTube, you don't have no SoundCloud, you don't have no Twitter, you don't have no Instagram. There were those days, you know what I'm saying? No MySpace. If you want to go back all the way back, you know what I'm saying? I remember those days. I remember those days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it was tough. If you're not signed, it was tough because this, you know, when you're signed, you get publicity. They put you in situations to get publicity. They make you a music video if you got a hot song on the radio. You know what I'm saying? So nowadays, I'm so glad that people like um, Sway in the Morning, like they'll bring, you know, rappers on there that nobody knows about and stuff like that and give them shine because there's a platform for that now. So, um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is 40 something minutes in. So this was cool, man. So my final thoughts on the battle is that I believe that it should fizzle out from here. There's, I don't think Upchurch needs to respond to this because that, that was the end of round four. But if he does, we're definitely going to be reacting to it just to hear what he has to say. Um, but I think, you know, the battle should just fizzle out from here and just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Because he, you know, and I would love to hear what Screw says about this live to hear what his response would be to this live stream. You know what I'm saying? And hear what he has to say and see if he's still on the same bullshit or not. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment in the comment section, man. Let me guys let me know what you guys think of what Upchurch had to say in this video. And I will see you guys next time, man. Peace.